Okay, good evening contestants. I am your androgynous AI game show host from the future, Caster. Hello, 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 hello. I hope you are having a fantastic evening. We don't, oh no, we do, we do have some background music. Games. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I hope you're all doing well. I have been really busy <laughs> uh, this week has been uh, pretty full of um, uh, getting work done with my operator. We were out of town doing lots of fun voice recording bits, uh, not doing any voice work ourselves, unfortunately, but uh, working with voice actors on, on a project, which has been really nice, delightful, in fact. Um, a non-binary voice actor who I specifically uh, requested we have a character for cast and then made sure uh, to sit in on the voice recording of something that we got to do today and that was uh, delightful uh, so you know even though I wasn't able to be live yesterday to which I could only apologize uh, we were able to make it back up back to the pad today early enough where we can still do a stream uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a pretty cozy uh, relaxed stream uh, just because you know as I say, busy week. We aren't going to be going too hype. No screaming. We'll save the screaming for tomorrow. Where we have uh, some Pokemon Black and White Soul Link Nuzlocke tomorrow. But yes, today. Today we are doing Top Deck Tuesday on Top Deck Wednesday, as you can see above. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we uh, completed um, Lost Kingdoms a couple weeks ago. And we had a breather week of uh, playing some Slay the Spire. But I uh, asked the fabulous contestants on my Twitter uh, what game we should get into this week, um, which we had the options of more Slay the Spire, uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, um, some moving on to Lost Kingdoms 2, uh, but uh, winning by a country mile was Bait and Kato. Or Batan Kaitos, I guess, I, I suppose. I, I, I'm not quite sure how the best way to pronounce it. It's, the, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a game name that is never mentioned in the game, so you never really get a good in, impression of how it's supposed to be pronounced, but we'll do our best. But yes, Batan Kaitos, uh, I guess, um, was actually a game me and my operator adored uh, back when I was beta software and uh, he was a teenager. Um, there were a number of actually really rich JRPGs on the GameCube and uh, this is one that he got pretty obsessed with uh, and was trying to 100% complete. Oh, well, a good evening, Come and Go Tavern. I'm glad you're also very excited for this. It's a big, big nostalgia hit. Um, we stopped playing when... Uh, th so there's a mechanic in this game where you get to take photographs of bosses and uh, you can sell the photographs you take for money. And I think that is the only way you can really earn money in the game sensibly. But it also means <clears throat> that your kind of like card collection includes photographs of all the enemies you fight. Uh, meaning that if you defeat a boss and you don't take their photograph, uh, there is the implication, I don't know whether this is true or not, but I can only assume uh, that you will be forever missing that spot in your collection. And I uh, defeated a very diffic difficult boss on disc two, forgot to take its picture, saved my game, and then went, oh, uh, oh no. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We are, I, 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 I stopped, stopped playing the game then and there, never returned to it. So uh, now is the time, now is the time after genuinely more than a decade i want to say a decade and a half uh we can get back into it and see how it be uh feel the vibes of early to mid 2000s jrpgs right let me just go and get uh the tech up and running please uh we want to do that Take a photo of only that boss and nothing else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we're gonna move over to the card game screen. Because the intro video is very important. Hopefully you should be able to hear the music once it kicks in. 
this is a monolith soft joint who've been doing a lot of the Xenoblade games now, I think. A long, long time ago it was. Before people began to dwell in the sky. A terrible war was waged between us humans and the wicked god. Mm. After the horrendous battle, our ancestors entombed the wicked god and left the polluted inferno to find a future in the sky. I remember looking at the CG in this opening cutscene and being like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. We'll see how it uh, ages. There are things that people mustn't touch. Who cares? The lip syncing is a. Uh, Colors. Zilla. God of demise and destruction, the cursed power of Mount Persio. Never heard of that before. Damn the bastards! Gibardi. to act against the Empire? Lude, that acting was woof. The body acting there, Mizuti. Savina. Let us trust the Just young. One more. Who hold the spirit within them. Ah! Struggle alone. No! So, so, you know how uh, we recently released. Who you really are. So you know how we recently released Ballad of Conjurers, a tabletop RPG inspired by. Hold on, hey, hey, I would love to have a uh, game input, please. Hold on, hold on. Let me figure. Yeah. No, we have it. It's just taking a moment. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there we go. We got it. Uh, yes, uh, very recently we released Ballad of Conjurers, which is a tabletop RPG inspired by uh, JRPGs of this kind of era. And uh, that opening cutscene, very, very much the energy of what I was trying to channel. If you can bond with it. Something wonderful may happen to you. Are you ready? Mmm. We are that spirit. Yeah. I, I don't know about, I, I mean, I guess uncle. It depends on how nagging we are. But yes, we are a guiding spirit for the main character. Can I... may I ask your name? Hmm... Hmm... Well... Well, ni neither of these are especially appropriate. Uh, back in the day we picked the male option. So, uh, you know what? Let's go pick the femme option today. But we are, as usual, going to be Caster. So that's your name. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first played this and having an explicit connection with the player character and player blew my mind. I mean, it's nice. It's nice, you know, people th talking about Undertale having that unusual connection between the player and the game. Nah, no, this beat him to it. The size of the pencil that personal right was using. And then our house was in flames. 
and the Imperial Empire was responsible. I can only assume that is our sister? I don't remember. Come free us from a thousand years of darkness, a millennium of solitude and suffering. Beautiful white wings for you, for the world, death and destruction. <laughs> the Imperial Empire. No, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Empire was Imperial. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always some crystals. <laughs> all of this. I love all of this. This is just so... Ugh, it's just the energy of JRPGs from this period. Beautiful. I love it. Ugh. So on the nose. The slow fade to black. Okay, okay. And then we have cozy village theme. I forgot that this game had pre-rendered backgrounds as well. Very nice. Where am I? I the voice acting feels a little um like it's down a tunnel. You know, it feels slightly tinny, despite. But then, I guess they have a lot of data to cram onto a single disc, huh? Oh, that expression. I don't have that expression in my repertoire. I guess this is the closest one. <laughs> I see you've awakened. Who are you? Why am I here? But also that this game was fully voiced during this period is also very impressive, actually. My name is Larry Gush. I'm the village doctor here at Sebelrai. They found you lying unconscious in the woods nearby and brought you here. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I was attacked by rock cats. Rock cats. Okay. Oh, man. How stupid of me. You're lucky they were only rock cats. They are herbivores, after all. It's awfully strange to hear of them attacking humans. Mm. The animals in that forest have been acting quite peculiar lately. I'm not sure why, but they're much more aggressive than they used to be. You'd better stay away from those woods. The, um, the character models are actually also really nice. I don't recall seeing you around these parts. Ah oh, yes, fantasy India, populated with white people. I mean... I, I guess this is my supposed name's to be. Chalice. This is my first time here, which is why I got lost. I guess. Cuts, like, is it? I'm not quite sure if this game. I don't recall if this game necessarily does such a distinct. It doesn't do. I don't think this quite does a Golden Sun, in that all the areas in Golden Sun are just real world, ancient cultures, made. Psychic magicians, right? Well, like a lot of the areas in this, because there's like a dream island that you can go to where everything is like very surrealist on purpose, and I don't think that necessarily layers onto a uh, a real world culture quite so easily. Although uh, there is definitely um, some some liftings of stuff like a uh, most of the inspiration comes from South Asia, especially the fashion and architecture. Gotcha, gotcha. If you feel up to it, you're welcome to take a look around the village. We're only mm. a small farming community on the frontier, so I'm afraid there isn't that much to see. Oh, I do actually remember some of these voice lines, actually. The delivery on the lines. What a sense memory. By the way, I left your winglet over there. By the window. Quite an unusual design for a winglet, I must say. Different from those used by the Empire. Mm-hmm. The sparkling suit. No, I know I can interact with that. by my grandfather. He was an excellent engineer. Ah, I see. And how is he doing? He is dead, most likely. Two years ago. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> is that so? I'm 
Sorry to hear that. Yeah, the character models look nice, considering, you know, I saw them only on like a CRT at a long distance. Even with the kind of like, you know, no filtering running it through an emulator. These look still very clean. Mimai is the one who found you lying in the woods and carried you here. I see. Mimai, is it? <laughs> the walk cycle while turning in place, though, is uh, definitely of period. <laughs> I mean, there are lots of very iconic songs in this game, so I am actually not sure what particular song that you mean. Um, that should do it. There are there are definitely a number of personal favorites. Oh, oh you must be the traveler they found unconscious in the woods. Uh, what is it like? Vitrolic a stroke? Chaotic Dance? There's a handful. Um, the ones where you fight machines, the music that they give you for that are very... Yes, yes, getting the soundtrack of Galbadia Hotel. Yeah, 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 you know what's up. You know what's up. <laughs> you should ask me for advice if you want to have better luck in the future. Chaotic Dance, gotcha. What should we ask her about? Uh, actually, some of this is probably going to be relatively useful because I don't remember a lot of this information. Magnus types. In general, Magnus can be divided into two types. Magnus used during battle and Magnus used during the camp menu. A battle Magnus can be used an infinite number of times. On the other hand, a camp Magnus can only be used a single time. So you have to be more careful when using them. They call Magnus, they call cards Magnus in this game. Get the full RAR instead of individual songs. Yes. Yeah, I was initially downloading the individual MP3s of songs that I liked in particular, and then becoming a member of the forum so I could just get the full RARs. Some of the RARs were specifically passworded, and you had to do a lot of digging to be able to find the password to unlock them. <laughs> Soundtrack collecting in that time was different. It was different. An adventuring tip. If you need to recover HP, it makes more sense to do it during battle than in camp. Using a battle magnus instead of a camp magnus and rec bleh, recover your HP without losing any cards. I'm just going to call them cards from now on because magnus is silly. Of course, using battle cards is a little riskier, but making good use of them is important. Heading back that way, yeah. Defeating enemies won't earn you a single gold coin. Yeah, this is what I remember. Given the poor value of most cards, trying to earn money by selling them isn't realistic either. The way to go if you want to get big bucks is to sell photographs. Photos can only be taken during battle and are a bit risky, but a well-shot photo will fetch you a lot of gold. There is no, um, as far as I recall, there is no, like, accuracy of photo taken. As long as you successfully use the card on the target, you take its photo. So you don't need to uh, stress that. Photos aren't worth holding on to for a long time. You should always check to see if you have any to sell when you visit magnet shops. But be careful not to be too anxious to sell your photos. Unless you let the photos develop and let their colours come out fully, they won't fetch their full values. Taking a good photo you can sell at a high price requires both skill and determination. It mostly just requires waiting. Uh, there's a... Uh, this game specifically has like an in-game clock that tracks how long uh, you've had cards for. And some cards will change form into different cards. Um... Yes, yes, this game specifically requires you to wait for cards to mature and mutate just to sell them. But there's all sorts of other cards that do that as well. Uh, you get um, milk that turns into yogurt into cheese. Uh, you get wine that turns into vinegar. Um, one of the cards, um, you get like a, a, a Momotaro that emerges from a peach. Um, and that requires a ridiculously long time to get. Oh, uh, to that end, 100%ing um, this game takes a really long time because you need to wait for all the cards to mature. And we're not doing that. We are not doing that. Uh, we are... Uh, photos when the two bright tend to be washed out. Combine light and dark attacks and wait for the right shutter moment. With practice and some long... Oh, okay. I see. I don't think I really processed that. 
um, when I was playing before. I think mostly I just focused on taking pictures. Turn that turbo mode on. Man, it's not. It's not important. This is mostly... Uh, if, we, if we can get to disc 2, considering, you know, I can't... I'm no longer 14 to just play this game for like 8 hours at a time. If we manage to get to disc two, we're doing really good. Uh, so let's not let's not uh, dwell on things too much. I forget if we get like oh yeah, we do get a chance. We do get a little indicator when there's something that can be looked at. Gotcha. But yeah, the pre-rendered backgrounds are nice. Very um, PlayStation Final Fantasy. There was something in that in that box. But first. Sebel Rai, the farming hamlet. I mean, I own the original copy of this game, so the fact that I absolutely uh, ripped the ISO myself, obviously. Something is in the wooden box. Yeah, yeah, we got an item. Shish kebab. But yes, the the fact that we are are playing this. Uh, via emulator does mean that we have some advantage in terms of stuff like save states and things like that. I don't think this is a game that requires much in the way of save stating though. Oh, up and around already, are we? I'm not surprised. Does a lower kush can cure just about any injury or ailment in no time at all? You know what? Now that you're feeling better, why don't you go see the village mayor? It seems there's something he's itching to tell you. What's that thing you've got strapped to your left shoulder? Is that a ringlet? What a voice. Yes, it is. Well, I'll be. They say the Empire has tons of them, but you rarely see any down here in the boonies. But it looks a little strange. It's custom built. My grandfather made it for me. I didn't realize it was so rare. Dr. Larry Kush asked me about it too. Really? The doc asked you? I didn't know he had an interest in winglets. He never struck me as the type that enjoys fiddling with machinery. Mm-hmm. You've only got the left one on. Like uh, many JRPGs of this era, the... You can't hear over the duck sounds. Not much I can do about that. Maybe there's something in the settings I can do to tweak voices, actually. Um, this is also a game, like many JRPGs, that... Uh, talk about the uh, conflicts between nature and technology. It amuses me how much they're dancing around why it's an odd winglet. Yeah, I think that the, the people with wings are, are rare, I think, in setting. Yeah. No, one is enough. I don't have a left wing, so my grandfather crafted this winglet for me as a replacement. It's also a line I remember. Oh, I wow. see. That's why. Sorry for meddling. No problem. It works perfectly fine, and together they get me where I want to go. Not that we fly very much. That's good to hear. Your grandfather must have been an excellent engineer. I mean, a custom-made winglet. Mm. Wow. Man, I'm enjoying just the gently wiggling motion graphic flowers in the bottom right. It's just really pretty. Some of the some of the areas in this game are breathtaking. So cool. <laughs> you know. Oh, I can't really move them out of the way. They are solid objects I cannot push. Did you know this, mister? Everyone has wings of the heart, right? The wings of the heart outwardly express what people are feeling on the inside. Their hopes and dreams. That's what my father told me. That's why there are so many different types. The unique shapes and colors are just reflecting each person's hopes and dreams. Definitely didn't notice those flowers in 240p CRT. Exactly. Hey, wait. You must be the guy they found unconscious in the woods. How are you going to make it as an adventurer if you keep fainting during your travels? Hey, are you trying to pick a fight or something? What are you trying to say here, huh? Whoa, calm down there. I just want to give you some advice. You'll fare better from now on. Can you remove the glass jar over their microphones? You know I can't do anything about that. <laughs> During your travels, have you ever thought 
I wish I hadn't lost that battle, or if only I was stronger. If that's the case, you might want to learn more about this blue flower behind, besides me. It lets you save, and it lets you go to the chapel where you can level up. Um, Traveller is being transported to a mysterious church and returning stronger than before they entered. To tell you the truth, I haven't tried the flower myself. But still, I thought I'd tell you about it since you're an adventurer and all. These mysterious flowers exist all over the world, but it'd be wise to make good use of them. I think there were red ones as well that do something similar? I think the red ones let you go to the chapel but not save, or like vice versa. Oh, by the way, in addition to blue flowers, there are also red flowers. Thank you for explaining the thing I was thinking about. They only let you save the progress of your journey. Cool. Good. Vague, vague memories. <laughs> You want to know what I'm doing? I'm gathering Severai's most juicy and delicious treat from our famous mountain our famous mountain apples. The great snacks to eat is is, but ferment them to make mountain apple wine and you'll be tasting something simply divine. The harvest is going to be over soon. Come back later and I'll give you some mountain apples to try out. I think the red flowers just heal you, don't let you save or level. No, they, they mentioned that it lets you just save. Although there's a little bit of a time delay. Woohoo! Let's visit the church, because I want to listen to the music. The music in the church is great. Love it a lot. Oh, God, this area. So pretty. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Man. Another adventurer. Do you stand before me in search of greater power? Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I don't get it. Where am I, anyway? Those who speak spiritual growth go to pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you earned enough experience, you can level up. What would you like to know? And then this just explains. Uh, actually, class levels is an interesting detail. I don't remember this. You'll find artifacts in this world, items of great power. Ah, right, 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 I see. These are, are specific class ups that require the item. Right. Different quality of normal level ups. Gotcha. No. Go forth. Just love some ominous chanting and some cathedral organ. I think I used this one of these tracks in our stream with uh, Bella de Condras in the playthrough. I, I used this. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Leveling up at my local parish, challenging every faithful for more god points. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know whether they talk about like the. I mean, they have to talk about the theology of the setting, right? No, nothing in the barrels for me. Actually, let's speak to you first. I'm so tired. When you get old, even pulling weeds feels like hard labor. Hm. You're an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, are you? Well, I hope you enjoy your visit. There's a lot of theology in the back half of the game. Go figure. That makes sense. The milk and eggs produced here are solid east. I sold east of this village in Furcard. With the money from the sales, we buy goods in the city. That's our way of life here in Sublorain. Take a look behind you. Those prancers sure are something, right? The common horse is no match for a standout strength. I am doing well, Nits and Crits. It's been a very tiring day, but I'm glad that we get to unwind with a very uh, nostalgic video game. This prancer is sensitive to hot weather. He's grown weak from the sadal sued heat. If he lived in the cooler climate, I'm sure he'd recover. But what can I do? Cow pigs, of course. Oh, you must be a traveler. I'll bet you're from Furcad, right? Furcad, not Furcad. Understood. Isn't this village boring? I mean, there's nothing to do here. Oh, how I long for Furcad, ancient capital of stone, jewel of the east, 
City of my hopes and dreams. Outsiders might not see what's so special about a small city on this frontier island, but I can hardly wait each week for the day when we sell our wares in the city. Yeah, entire bacon cheeseburgers from a single cow pig. <laughs> Love at first sight. Oh, how romantic. Excuse me, ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Also, why is this voiced? <laughs> ah. Her wings emerged. Oh, stop it. You're daydreaming again. Such silly thoughts will get the pals milked. Pals, because they are pig cows, of course, yes. Someone like that. Heaven knows what he'd do to a country girl like you. He'd play with your head and leave you the moment he finds another young girl. Just because we have wings doesn't mean we should be fluttering on such childish dreams. Plant your feet firmly on the ground and take careful steps, slowly but... Okay, 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 calm down. to flutter on about romantic dreams at my age. All right, honey. You can dream all you want once you've finished your chores. Yeah. Bending that low would be murder on the back. Murder! Uh, what, a what a drag. I remember that line too. It's just specific bits of voice acting. Specific little bits of voice acting have cut through the decade in a bit. Gosh. It's a fun day today, isn't it? Hope he doesn't get too much hotter. If it gets too hot, the pals become fatigued and lazy. If that happens, their meat will get fatty and unmarked. We can't afford poor pal cells during this season. Cool. Love some word build world building. A milking stand like you use for goats. Ah. Mima is this uh weird slime seal. Glad to see you're up and walking around. The rap scene in Fakad. Hmm. Mima's cute. Is this him? Her? Mimai? Is this who brought me here? Uh-huh. Mimai's really cool. He's way smarter than all the drunks you see around here. And helpful too. I see. Love a soft mask in my video game. <laughs> well, thanks, Mimai. I owe you one. Farm girl experience coming in handy once again. Ah. I forget. Ah, here we go. System. Yes, we do want stereo. Or surround. Ooh. <laughs> we do want voices. BTL tips. Yeah, can't can't mi mix individual voice levels. It seems. I'm gonna go find this mayor. Let's not... I mean, we could speak to literally every person in town, but we probably do want to actually see some video game. Oh, you're finally awake! Yes, sir. I guess I've caused you some trouble. I'll let my guard down and, well, sorry about all this. Don't worry about what's already happened, young fella. Feel free to stay in this village to heal your wounds for as long as you need. However, I must strongly insist that you never go... you never go near Moongal Forest again. I've heard rumors of meddlers from Furkad snooping around that forest without permission, as usual. Hmm. Hmm. Neither you nor all those blockheads understand Moongar Forest must not be disturbed. An ancient hideous monster slumbers deep within that forest. These days, even the forest animals seem uneasy. Now is not the time to meddle in places you don't belong. Everybody's talking about you. A young traveler found in serious trouble in the Forbidden Forest. Don't mind the stories, this is a small village. Even a small happening is big news here. Yeah, but what you got? 
I haven't seen this game in a long time. Exactly, Nits and Crits. This is why we're playing. How to be a great village mayor. It's in excellent conditions if it's never been opened. Go figure. It's physically body blocking me. You see a faint traces of the paragraph. Someone said written out with that pad underneath. Okay. Perhaps a gift from the villagers. You see ceramic dolls made in likenesses of the mayor and his wife. None of this is especially important. But we love, we love to see some world building, some scene setting. Anyway, let's speak to this mysterious lady. Is it natural or the worst ever? I assume natural. I assume natural. I'm being charitable. Ancient ruins in the woods near here. How about you? Me? Naturally, well, best. I... Uh, actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna see if I can fiddle with the volume levels of hair. Audio. It's maybe like 30, 35. Just push it up a little higher. There we go. Let me know. No, no, no. It's all good. You can be snarky. This is a, an old video game that we are lightly clowning on, even though we do enjoy it. But yes, do let me know how the uh, game audio sits against my voice level. Oh. Oh, she came with a traveling entourage. Is she like the, um... Bye, little guy. Uh... Oh, Yuna. Final Fantasy X Yuna of the, um... Of this game. Shall her. I like her uh, pink to yellow kind of gradient on her little poofy shorts. Name, you know. C -E -D -R. Cedar. They're crazy, huh, Mimi? Why bother going all the way down there just to see some stupid old ruins? Nobody in this village will even go near those woods. They say it's cursed or something. I hope they don't get jumped by wild animals out there like someone else did. Yeah, really. Hmm. Ancient ruins in Moongao Forest, eh? Why don't we go have a look ourselves? Yeah, I, I don't I don't think the voice acting in this game is actually especially bad. It seems pretty quality for the amount that it gives you. I think it's just unfortunately hideously compressed to fit on a one gig disc. 1.3 gig disc. Good day to you! Don't let the rural surroundings mislead you. We only carry Magnus of the utmost quality. Uh-huh. Too bad I have no cash. Magnus is created by extracting the Magna Essence of an object from its physical property and sealing it in a card. How would you feel if you opened up a Magnus Wow, you said that pretty high in the air. And the object crumbled in your hands. You Does mag that Magnus look like it? It was strangely square, considering all Magnuses look like playing cards. But I guess that, that di you, we're, we're reading for distance, you know? Uh, as, as said, we're a 240p CRT video game. All the stuff that's on the overworld has to kind of um, paint for the back row, as it were. Believe me, our goods will satisfy. You're a lucky man, as we're currently uh -huh. Come in! Come I have no in. money. I have no money. You were selling me so hard, but I have zero cash. Alrighty. Let's go have a look at Moongal Forest, shall we? Yeah, Callus looks at the camera, meaning us. Oh, the art holds up astoundingly. I love the character portraits. The villagers seem to have a fear of the woods, but I think they're making a big deal out of nothing. Oh yeah, Ruben. I wonder when you uh, in inscribe a new Magnus card, whether it has like the new ink smell of a freshly opened pack of trading cards. It's a good fucking smell. <laughs> Hey, relax. 
You won't catch me off guard this time. You know, it's always interesting. Does magic have a smell? Moonguile forest. Oh, the overworld theme, yes. And Nunki Valley, South End. How bad is the counterfeit trade in the Flurcad? Mmm. Bats! Moon Guile Forest. You get to hear the, uh, to the True Mirror, I think is the name of the battle theme. Two. Yes, because we can only chain two cards at a time. So, uh, I I just did a thing and without explaining how this works. Uh, so what, what this game does is that it's a deck building RPG. Uh, every card that you put into the game can have somewhere between one to four numbers on it. And you select them. And once you select your first card, you are then on a timer to keep making chains, uh, you get bonus damage for uh, having cards that chain into each other numerically. So counting up or down or multiple cards with the same number and things like that. Really powerful magic and vania uh, smells vaguely like copper patina. Ah. I don't have a shield, so you also use cards to block as well. So you need to make sure that your deck is a mixture of uh, offensive and defensive cards. Um, we're gonna gamble on five. No, we can't. So, see, because those numbers didn't chain, we didn't get the bonus damage. That at last attack that we did did 18. This only did 16. Uh, eventually, you'll be finding cards with multiple numbers on them, and you need to use the C-Stick to specifically uh, select which number you want. And uh, you start doing really, really long chains. And if you do chains of a specific length, you can do combo finishes, and it gets it gets complicated. We'll see. Time to claim the loot. Select one Magnus from the list displayed on the left. Any Magnus displayed to the right will be automatically picked up, as they are important. If you don't feel like picking up any of the magnets on the left, press the B button to exit this screen. So we gained a leather vest. And then after you get attacked, you are flickering for a while. You can't be attacked again. Don't be thinking you can beat me. Two of the same. Uh, so matches actually deal do you a bit more bonus damage yeah what year did this come out I remember renting it back in the day I want to say 2004 I want to say 2004 hey we obtained a voice one ooh what does that do You can equip cards. This character taunts the enemy. A level one taunt adds a 5% prize if included in the combo. Okay. Is our deck already maxed out? Yeah, there already is. Okay. Hmm. Defense eight. So we're given two healing cards. Hmm. I don't know if we need two. I think I can probably get rid of green bananas and uh, put in a taunt instead. Sounds about right when you were in university. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, I was a, I was a teenager back then. Um, let's see. 
An eight is actually not super useful because we don't have any sevens or nines. So we can't actually use this to combo into anything. But it's our most damaging attack. Anyway, this is fun for now. We, we, we don't need to start worrying about deck building until we get more deck space and uh, more interesting cards. But this is the general vibe of what we can do and where we can go. The forest has become quite a dangerous place these days. You better heed my advice if you want to make it out of here in one piece. So how about it? You can ask me for advice. Well, should we ask? Uh, oh, okay, sure. Let's ask about combos. Several magnets in the car, there's a combo, I don't know how many magnets you can use right now, but the unit that decides the final damage dealt is your combo. Each individual magnus is just a contributing element in the combo. It's best to learn this the hard way, but anyway, if you use a single... If you use opposite elements in a single combo, such as fire and water, the damage from both elements will damage you, cancel each other out, decreasing the total damage dealt. So, you, it's in your best interest to specifically stack your deck in a way where you are like fire themed or water themed hey man i'm the forest advice guy i love being in forest and giving very forward slightly rude even <laughs> uh, combo is what's important attack combo versus defense combo the total power of the combo is in you and your enemy determines the outcome of the hand yes target selection actually this is good to know first thing you should do during a turn is to choose a target choose carefully because your entire combo will be used on that target alone Target is always on the enemy at first, so if you want to attack an enemy, just leave as is. But remember, if a recovery magnus is in a combo, it will, excuse me, heal the enemy. Yes. Not only will your party member fail to be healed, you'll end up healing the enemy's HP. So if you want to use a recovery magnus, press the R button to use a character from your party first. Every time you press the R button, the target will switch to a new party member. The target never needs to the enemy pressing the R button, so don't worry about that. On the other hand, pressing L switches the enemies. Okay, cool, excellent. Good to know. Um... The thing that took me a long time to work out uh, when I played this back in the day is that you can take photos of yourself uh, and your party members and you can sell those as well. So you don't always need to take pictures of your foes and those fill up slots in your little card index. So. Cool. Turn around so defense to protect yourself. Just use your Uh-huh. It has the same number of chances to guard as the same number of enemy attacks, also mind the elements, it's no use guarding a fire attack with a fire magnus. Makes sense. Use a water one. In other words, take advantage of opposite elements. Uh, get into the late game and using healing cards against enemies anyway because the combo damage is worth it. Pre-selfie only. <laughs> sure. Um, the fact that you use a disposable camera to take pictures in this is uh, very, very specifically dating it, huh? Everything is determined by combo versus combo. Many things are determined after the combo sequence ends. What I'm trying to say is damage is never determined until a combo finishes. Mm-hmm. Fascinating, young lad. Uh, a large straight up tree trunk. A tree trunk is blocking my way. If only I had some fire, I could burn it. But they do not have any fire cards. You're dead. This weird snake dude. Hey, let's take a picture. Say cheese. Say cheese. <laughs> yeah. Man, you have to be quick on the ball to block some of these attacks. Because that attack came out fast. Rock organ, let's go. Sorry I had to beat you to a pulp. So we can only take one photo, one reward. So we have to choose as to whether we get the photo we took or the item. And sometimes that opportunity cost is brutal. We can still get some disposable cameras at major tourist destinations. There's still a vending machine for them at Universal. I suppose it's probably the best way of ensuring that uh, you... Because, not you know, not everybody necessarily has 
the the phone the phone tech and stuff to be able to take pictures, right? So uh, letting you still you save your memories is uh, an important thing. Uh, let's taunt. Give me a break. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> you deal bonus damage for insulting them. Very good. So even when you block, uh, you can get uh, additional uh, prizes for doing straights and matches. Give him the old get wreck scrub. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just going to use the eight against you. Just confirm that kill. There's no need to uh, spend cards that I don't need to spend. Can't block that attack though. Ow. Five, six. Monsters don't get English, but they can understand hurtfulness. I mean, isn't that the the uh, vicious mockery Dungeons and Dragons spell is specifically uh, they will even as long as the uh, your target understands a language, uh, they will be damaged by the spell, which is actually pretty funny. They don't necessarily need to speak your language, but they can understand if you're being mean. Ah, I, I'm not allowed to equip this. Right, right, it's for a different character. Meanness is universal. opportunity to heal myself. I want to uh, take a selfie. Block! Uh, 3% chance of freezing, okay. Oh, it was an instant kill, never mind. The water sword is powerful, I, I, I get it. Uh, my mom sent me a disposable camera to my son when he was aged like five years old. Child was confused by this strange new technology. I had to spend like 50 euros to develop pictures of people's shoes and cats in the neighborhood. It was great. Ah, yeah, that is cute. That is cute. I quite like, um... Uh... Instax style Polaroid cameras. They are expensive to use, but they are really cute. I, I really... Uh, they, because, you know, there are a limited number of shots, you need to maybe, you need to kind of understand some rules to get the best out of what they can do. But I, I do enjoy that uh, you can do, you know, in <laughs> it's uh, one and done in terms of shots. Let's take a selfie. Take a picture of myself. Come at me. Ugh. Ow. Five, six. Nice, nice, nice. These are all very straightforward battles. I am excited to get both a second party member and the ability to chain more than just two cards. Picture of Kalas. A youthful profile of Kalas. Eyes constantly seeking the enemy. Pictures of monsters fetch good prices, but normal portraits such as these are considered of little value. Callus thirst bait. <laughs> uh, who is there? Is the um the military prince character who at the time was like, oh, he's my favorite. What was that? I'm not sure if I believe that. Oof. Did I get two small ones, three medium moves, and a couple of big owls? Yeah. Leon! Leon! Let's also let him be the trick photographer when he was seven. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of pigeons. Excellent.
All right, Shala, let me know what's in your deck. Let me see how you've stacked it. Oh, look, Magician can cast spells. We get the boss. Seven, eight. Ooh, weak to water. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Is that all? Oh, a third attack. Ow. Only three damage. Five. Oh no, I didn't. No. I miss. I miss inputted. It's fine. I do want to take a picture of this guy though. I don't know how much health he has left. Five, six. Hmm. -hmm. Big fancy shoes. Blocked one of those attacks. Oh gosh, a final combo hit. Ugh. 24 damage. That's a lot. She's fine though. Uh, Dark Flare. Oh, they're unripe. So she took some damage, but uh, because I used two cards, it's better anyway. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, sword, sword. Where is my camera? I want to take a picture of you. Oh my gosh. Just nothing I could use to defend. Yeah, this can sometimes be, be the issue. Uh, and she currently doesn't have any spells she can use, that's fine. Uh, missed. There we go. Camera. Oh, it tried to block the camera shot? Hmm. Hmm. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Huh. Nope. Full two combo. Hand of twos. I wonder if that might affect the photo. Yeah. Pathetic damage. Fire burst! Dance of light! Hey! Eat shit. Light damage. Oh, that's a lot of light damage, actually. Wow. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> so we get our useful cards by themselves we don't have to it doesn't force us to pick between useful new items but we do get our photo of the saber dragon not bad these fangs fetch a handsome price these days Oh, I remember that line too, goodness. Graham. Leon. They got immediately clapped. They're kind of lying in a relatively awkward position, considering. My, oh my. Look at what we have here. A load of fresh Magnus. 
these could come in handy. Hey, you're stealing their things? They're my friends, you know. They were your friends. This won't be doing them much good now. We gotta do what we can to survive, right? I I forgot that Callus is callous. <laughs> I don't hear them complain. Besides, I'm not stripping them bare. I'll only take what I need. Catch. Dang. You, Graham's pendant, Leon's bracelet. You want me to give these items to their families to help them remember? Is that it? Well, no, you just gonna sell them for money, but like, whatever. You know, I, maybe I. That's your share of the loot. Enough to shut you up, I hope. Mm hmm What? How could you be so... I won't accept goods stolen from my friends. How insulting to the dead. I, I entirely forgot about hey, this kind of, like, wait, exchange. Huh. I, um... Thank you for saving me. My mm. name is Shella. Shut up. I'm glad you sure. came when you did. I didn't fight that thing to save you, Shella. A saber dragon's fangs will fetch me a juicy sum. End of story. I mean, uh, Shadow Hearts is a game that I've been meaning to play but never got round to. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting that this is a character that is all like, oh man, I don't remember where I was. There's so much about this world that I don't remember. Uh, but I do know that I am an absolute prick. <laughs> um, you're from Mira, the city of illusion, aren't you? Mmm. How could you tell? Because you have a guardian spirit with you. I knew as soon apparently as I remembers it, economics, yeah. It said that only the people of Mira can summon guardian spirits to this world. You seem to know a lot about guardian spirits. Lore. In ancient times, at the threshold between this world and another, souls mm. from both worlds would meet. Their fates entwined, the visiting soul would become a guardian spirit. Yet very few were able to hear a spirit's voice, and those bonded with a guardian spirit would receive great knowledge and power. The Gamer. But I'm surprised. I thought that was just a legend. Some old tale passed around in fireside chats. But it's true, guardian well, spirit's real. There's no way of telling if someone really has a guardian. Digital spouse suit was a legitimate recognized thing. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't blame anyone if they thought we were just hallucinating or something. <laughs> right? I'm only a ghost. What are we saying? What are we saying? I don't think this choice matters, but there are later choices that I think matter. Are we just a ghost? What is an AI if not a hologram ghost? A digital ghost, a ghost in the machine. Teach this to some manners. Huh? Was that voice your guardian? I thought I heard a faint voice in my mind. Hey, baby. What's up? Was good. <laughs> you mean you heard? I did. Just barely, though. So, your name is. I'm Shella. Your name is. <laughs> nice to meet you. Whatever. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> your voice tickles me. It feels strange. Hey, ever since I woke up at that village, I've been acting kind of funny. That reminds me, Dunk Larry Kush was worried about amnesia. Like mm. I hit my head or something. Yep, just a blank. 
Don't tell me you've lost your memory. But everything that happened before that? Is that it? There are some scripts where if you the character if the game is like voiced and your character is named, they will arrange the sentences in a way where they will write your name but it makes it sense. It still makes sense without your name voice. Yeah, just how exactly did the voice Hmm. Let's not ask. Let's 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 not let's not find out. Oh, more enemies. We should probably team up, Shella, so we don't die. Let's talk about this later. This doesn't look like a I figure you'll remember. Hey, Callus. I have to go to the ancient ruins deep in the forest. What mm -hmm. about you two? We're headed that way too. You want to go together? If you don't mind, but before we leave, could you spare me a minute? Shella's like, so, Callus, what does your garden spirit look like? <laughs> Are they cute? Cannot wait. And I am very cute, so Shella is right to ask. Leon? Which ancient ruins this for? The, yeah, this forest is lousy with ancient ruins. Yeah, yeah, very, very Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Save, O mighty ocean. Guide us as we journey through the darkest pit of night. Callus, we should be going. <laughs> I forget if this is the kind of game that has a party member join and leave and then join and leave and then join again. Um, I remember Tales of Symphonia on, also on GameCube, uh, was full of that. Characters came and went all the time. You know, there's more than one party member, you can talk between the characters. Neat. Because we now have a two number fire burst. Which is actually not really that useful. I don't think that combos into many things. Yeah, not really. Uh, having more defense might be worth having, though. Remember the coffee ceiling symphonia? Oh, yes. The coffee's hot. Actually, the coffee was cold. Actually, the coffee was hot. Uh, taunting is actually not really useful and you can only play two cards, so I'm just going to put the combo in. Alright. What's behind door number one? More. Something is written here, but the sign is too dirty to make out what it says. Fine. Six, five. Fire first. I'll finish you. <laughs> oh, that's true. We now have the ability to kind of use um, cards outside of battle to do certain things because there's that one. Uh, log that needed to be burnt, right? I forget how you specifically do those. Glowing fragment from incomplete star map. Sure. Is it the C stick? Oh gosh, I realized that I need to do this to stop me moving the right stick, moving my cursor around. I f Why? Zed? Hmm. Can't seem to pull up any info yet. Um. This is fine though. We can do this if we work together. 
Uh, Shella. Heal thine self. Four, five. Whoa. Yeah, interesting that you can intentionally throw away cards that can't be used, so you can do some deck digging if you wanted to. Six, five. Fire first. On guard. Magic. Dance of light. All right, let's hope we get another combo piece. We don't. I have to finish our food. Four damage, who cares? Go from one to two. Because it's uh, fire and water, light and dark, and wind, and I can't remember what the other. Um like element is it's wind and something else it might be earth you know earth is a sensible bad but i i do not remember flame sword well, we're immediately equipping that this is a one value card Earth sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can afford to get rid of a six. You. This doesn't look too good. Oh, you feeling outnumbered? Seven, eight. Dark easy, easy money. I might as well just do a regular combo. It's fine, it kills them. And I still have enough ability to block whatever the next thing is as long as it's callous. Yeah. Whoop! I was too slow. <laughs> just got clipped. Fine. Um I'll just do two water cards and that will kill it. I mean, it is kind of sad, even though it's the same voice clip every time, it is kind of satisfying to hear them go, Aqua Burst! Aqua Burst! Soul Fist! Soul Fist! Fire Burst! Um. Most of the enemies here are fire elements, so fire spells are actually not that useful, so I think we're still good. Uh, oh, and what was the other thing I wanted to do? Sort by... Okay, so we, we didn't manage to uh, get a photo of the bat yet, so we should still gun for that at some point. Hmm. Just the one spell, okay. And it immediately kills it. Wow, pathetic. Uh, we are 
intentionally going to flood the attack. Come on, got the dick for that camera. Digging for that camera. Yeah. They also have a deck and can uh, end their turn early if they run out of cards. I still have 10 cards left in my deck and none of them are the camera. Come on. There's the camera. Okay. Now. Jams. Got that photo. That was Save your progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The main battle theme is just all jazz organ all the time. It's at the time that this game came out, I was really in love with Motoi Sakura Buzz like soundtrack style and it's still good um i think he did a lot of games in a very short period of time that sound exactly like this and that was a little exhausting but the soundtrack in isolation is phenomenal oh, oh. this i don't remember what does this do what is it A reflection of the space, an entire planet. Hey, boss time. Who is probably water element, and I should have re engineered some of my deck to uh, be a bit more. Uh, Malpercio. Well, when you're the only guy working in the industry during a genre explosion, it happens, yeah. Prepare yourself. Mm hmm It's fine. This is still, like, the first... Uh, this is, like, the first actual boss. The previous boss was uh, not really a big deal. Um, you got the guitar version of the uh, battle theme. I am going to... Actually, he's max health, so there's no reason not to. You I can't overheal you. Hope this helps. Yeah. Sword, like the wind. Blue storm. Boom, boom, boom. Just full head slaps you. Oh, you only get one turn, huh? Dark Flare, Aqua Burst. Dark Flare. Oh, you blocked that. 
Yeah, resistant to water. Shredding. Ooh. Woof. Ugh, uh, five into six. Even though water is reduced damage. We didn't block either of them either, so that's just bonus extra. But yeah, my, my deck is in complete shambles. We do not have uh, especially great options going here. Oh, uh, two. I don't want to use either of these. Ow! It's three? Ooh. Uh. Don't die! Ooh. Uh. 48 damage, that's fine. Survivable damage. All right, six into five. Just counting stitches and trying to figure out where you mess up your top. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm genuinely so glad that you enjoy just uh, hanging out with us while crafting. That is absolutely the energy we enjoy in this house. I'm going to heal Shella. Please don't die. Thank you. I'll spin the sword, actually. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, we guarded all of it, but it was uh, not any kind of uh, reflective of an actual straight. Just, just take 28 damage. Still in no danger of really losing this fight, are you? Uh, Oh, I actually have my fire jacket to block an attack. So that will reduce the amount of water damage that we take. There we go. Excellent. Please, can I take your picture now? Yes! Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, we can close the fight out now. Sword. Yeah. Of course you blocked it. Yeah. Boo. That one fire sword does so much damage by itself. <laughs> but I I swear I had fire spells in ow um in my deck. I'm surprised that they didn't um come up in the run. Because I would definitely use them now. Uh, uh, she's about to die. Mm-hmm. Nah, I probably should have kept the, uh, the bananas for the additional chance of healing. I just... Actually, I've just processed the fact that the water is very nice. Nice water. Hey! A fire attack. Fire first. Dark and he didn't block either of them. Solid damage. And that killed him, of course, of course. The time has come. The gate to R is opening. The gate to R. The blessing of Mount Perishio. Yeah. Do not remember who or what Mount Perishio is. That's too long ago. But I do know that they are the main thing we are concerning ourselves with for a lot of this plot. And I think it's a very doomsday plot that we are trying to stop.
What is this? Mmm, what indeed? Mmm. Uh, we get a scale buckle and a wild strawberry. Yeah. Only instances that we can take photos of bosses. Don't want to miss them. Well, that seems uh, dangerous. That seems like something that shouldn't be happening. Ooh, with a blood ripple after it too. The gate to R has been opened. Stars, be prepared for the song of destruction. Ooh, ooh, so ominous. The Stop melodrama. It. Who are you telling to stop? Who or what are you? Malpertio is the name of a cursed evil god from ancient times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How was I supposed to know? And why do you know all this? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was going to say a value in the airship, but that is uh, Skies of Arcadia. <laughs> but the, 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 the skyship of the Imperials flies overhead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm Oh, his name is Giacomo, I think? Go. Yeah! Giacomo. From her. Love a setting where everybody's all swords and sorcery, and then the Empire just has guns. They just have real ass guns. A, a trait that has carried through to the likes of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, a lot of the setting of Final Fantasy XIV is very specifically old school, really. Ow! My head! Not again! Just keep getting beaten up. And Shella is missing! Oh no. It's you, Nimai. They caught me off guard. Looks like they took that shiny Magnus, too. I can't believe how lucky I am, though. To find him here, of all places. Mm. Giacomo. The man who killed my grandfather. And Fee, I'll get you, Giacomo. Hi. Hmm. That is not the most convincing line read. Let's go after him. Yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. I'll make him pay for everything he's done. Well now, I wonder where they went. We should go back to the village first. Mask that thing was huge. Someone must have seen it or know something about it. Mm-hmm. Huh? What is it, me, Mike? Do you want to come with me? All right, all right. You just like bounce you into a like teeny me. ball, right? Here, just shrink in size. Silly. How did we even know that that is a thing that Mimai could do? Is that a thing anybody can do? Well, we have to immediately go back because uh, we won that treasure chest that we didn't get the chance to pick up. I forget if you can run from fights. 
I do not recall if that is a thing that you were allowed to do. Is that all you got? Whoa! I know that there's a way to trap Overworld just snuck right past that fella. Just swooshed right past there. There is a way specifically to trap real world items into cards. Oh. I'm a professor of zoology. Uh, I can understand animal languages so I can communicate with them. What am I doing right now? I'm setting up a trap to catch a bluebird of happiness. You've come at a good time. Will you help me out here? I'm just itching to catch a bluebird of happiness. What do you say, Caster? Uh, sure. So you have an interest in animals as well, do you? I've always dreamed of stuffing one of those birds. <laughs> Beyond the shrine gates over there, there's a nest full of them in the bushes. Mm -hmm. Bluebirds are very timid creatures. If they sense your presence nearby, they'll fly away in fright. Take advantage of this nature of theirs and steal the birds towards me. Just try walking past their nest a couple of times. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Good luck. Yeah, I cannot remember. I'll just sneak past you. That enemy wants to attack me so badly. Ooh, you want to get me so bad? Sneaking. Yeah. So I probably have to do this. There we go. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. I'm just going to sneak past you. Excellent. Call me Solid Snake. Master of Stealth. Gimme. Ah, there we go. Yes. This is how we run from battle. You have to specifically use an escape card. Which is, um... Unideal? Because there's no guarantee you will land an escape card when you need it. There is just as much chance that you will, uh find useless info where you need that card and vice versa. You thinking you can beat. So I suppose it's more pertinent to just try and close fights out quickly. Mm-hmm. Blocked. All of you are blocked. None of you are free from sin. That was uh, I don't have that card yet, so I will take the pocket. Oh, juked, juked, amazing. Can you believe this? I'm so excited. This must be the luckiest day of my life. If we had some kind of container, we'd be able to carry this. Let's leave it for now. Hmm. Interesting. Side quests upon side quests. Oh. Oh, it's this one. That's fine. But they do not stand a chance. Huh. 
neatly done. Okay, so I need to work out or remember how to go and trap items into cards, find something that has a source of fire, and find something that is a container and trap both. A terrible opening hand. I need to block one thing. Not a huge deal. To the village, and I'm pretty sure somebody in the village does actually explain the whole. I'm glad you're safe. It sounded like trouble was brewing over by the forest. Come talk with the village headman. Everyone's gathered at his place. I do forget who explains to you the capturing system, but uh, I should probably find that before sure I proceed. A strange monster came up from the spring in the forest. It was saying something about. Mount Persio. <gasps> Mount Persio? You Mount Persio? An evil deity from ancient time. I knew something like this would happen. I thought we told you to stay away from that forest. Mm. But wait. No more but. You and your lot have unleashed a great evil. Ignorant fools. Mm. I believe the other travelers... A young girl among them also entered the forest. Any news of them? Oh, that girl. Shella. She was with me. We were attacked by soldiers from a giant battleship. She was captured. Mm. Hmm. Unfavorable circumstances, to say the least. Duck, do you know anything about that ship? I have to track it down. No, I'm afraid not. If you're talking about that huge, strange ship, mm -hmm. I saw it fly towards the city. Well. The city. That must be it. Thanks so much. Be careful, Callus. Powerful mm -hmm. entities seem to be at work. I mean, it'd be so very difficult for us Thanks if the uh, I will. battleship decided to just go entirely off-island. And we're just like, well, no idea where it went. Too bad. Mind, um, one more thing, Cal. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't take too long. Could you stop by my place before you leave? Your place? Sure. I'll drop by later then. Yeah, I've got to go sell some photos. Also, that blazing fire uh, makes it feel like something I can capture in a card, hopefully. Flames are crackling away. If we had some kind of container, we'd be able to carry this. Let's see. Now. Oh, I. Hmm. Maybe this is what I will be getting, and I am jumping ahead. I should remember to go to the uh, blue flower and level up also after this exchange. Right, you need a special blank cards. Yes! I assumed I just had them, but I guess I need to obtain them. A landslide in Nunki Valley has made the route to Furcad impassable. We prepared explosives and left them on the bench. Clear away the landslide rubble. Wait, explosives? The Empire's the only place I can think of that has access to those. Well, that's not what's important right now. What is impossible, what is important is the route. 
the rubble is cleared the village will keep, won't be able to do stuff hey we're going that way anyway please help yes how do i carry them they are too big ah why don't you trap their accents and then we're given blank cards cool yes i was just ahead of the game four but then we'll be obtaining more as we go sure do tell me because i will not remember what button i need to use i think it's the c stick uh-huh essence extracted and trapped inside the card magnet essence very easy it's the a button to search the object oh okay okay c stick to select and a to give cool once it's lost its usefulness, you can always release it if you no longer need it. Once it's released, you'll need to be filled again. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mountain apple harvest should be over by now. Extract an apple essence and bring it to you. It can be found inside the village, and I know just who to speak to. Because we talked to her earlier it's finally over take as many as you like it's interesting uh what the game decides to delineate as something that can or cannot be captured it's clearly well non sentient items i was gonna say non-living items but you know the apple is organic matter so great thank you let me give you this in return i've gained an ice sword mm -hmm. you only have four but i'll obtain more And there's lots of things that I could feasibly carry for really long periods of time. Taint explosives, that is okay. Interesting. In terms of uh, what happens if I dump a key item and be like, oh, will it respawn back at the original point that I captured it? Will it just not let me ditch it if it's actually useful for a purpose? Hmm. It's not you, okay. Oh, apologies, I am yawning quite a bit. I must be actually quite tired. Hmm. Welcome, adventurer. Confess to me what you wish. I will pray. I will uh, level up twice. No reason why not. I will level up twice again. Oh no, it's only just once. And I can class up. Class level deck capacity has been expanded. Empty slots will automatically be filled with past magnus during battles. Cool. Uh, so I can now take an extra five cards in my deck. Yay! We're working in low numbers mostly, so I will... Uh... four so i can uh and my max combo is now three so i can play an extra card and my hand contains an extra card both of which are very useful oh. pardon me young traveler could you spare a moment and listen to an old man's story mm-hmm favor to ask of you Yes, a favor. There's something I would like you to look for during your travels. Look at the ceiling above you. 
Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We find various constellations from enemies and put them here. This is the star map. Over 50 years ago, skilled artisans gave birth to this splendid creation. The starlight shining down from the ceiling was truly a sight to behold. One day, however, the star map was torn to pieces and scattered all over the world. As you can see, the few stars still left can only twinkle with sadness. I hope to one day restore the star map to its former shimmering glory. Before this old body of mine gives, that is. Yet my wishes are but wishes. I am too old to travel the world searching for the fragments. But as a traveller like you, you may be able to find the fragments during the course of your journey. What do you think? Would you be able to search for the lost fragments? The 50 missing fragments of the star map have been scattered throughout the world. They're most likely in the form of Constellation Magnus. If you come across any of them, please bring them to me. I will reward you for each fragment you find for me. Alright. Yep. Side quests! Did you find all the Albed Primers? So on and so forth. I have two on me, so I can give you those at least. Brought me Draco and Vela. Truly grateful. Add them to the map. Not at all. Hmm. Draco has been restored. <laughs> Ta-da! Mm-hmm. So what you're giving me, huh? And a flame sword. Oh, a flame sword is definitely useful. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's work that in. Oh, it's a four as well. Uh, this eight isn't doing me really any favors. It's a powerful card. It's a powerful card, but I can't combo to or from anything. Yeah, no. There's no point having a powerful card if I can't chain it properly. Let's save, and then let's go and ga gather some fire. And we can also go and uh, capture the one of those birds, for whatever purpose that might have. Uh, oh, and we can sell the photographs that we've taken as well. Essence of the Stoked Flame, sure. That eight will be back later. Yeah, once once we have some room, once we have some combos available, we'll be able to return to our deck. You know, uh, the, as the game was uh, said previously, uh, selling combat cards isn't really of any particular interest. Oh, d can I? Uh, I have to specifically go in. Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, what a cozy scene. Uh, I will sell, please. We have, uh, the Unuk. A picture of me. For 69 gold! Nice! <laughs> A picture of the Shara. With the Lord of the Spring as well. This is like a little overexposed, I guess, but that's fine. Let's buy. Uh huh. Defense 10, 40 gold. Oh, we'll buy one. Oh, oh, it's a very limited number of cards available, I see. I will definitely buy that. Three. Cool. Cool.
as we immediately sprint away to not do the mission, but instead do side quests. Uh, actually, we can... Equip for a better defense. Uh, this sword three. Attack 12, defense 7. Well, it's a direct upgrade, so there's no reason why to not. We, we shouldn't do that. And all the rest are pretty entry level in terms of cards. All right. All right, we have to grind through some of these fights again to get to the other side, but it's fine. That could have been a four, five, six, but it's fine. This is enough to kill. Whatever. I uh, saw the straight in my mind and then did not actually do the thing because I am very smart. Run past this one. Just sprint into the distance. I'm going to ignore you as we... Flames, yes, 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 we do, we do have that. Stoked flames! So there's a, a bit of a point-and-click adventure game energy to some bits of this game. Another ice dagger, useful. Elemental weapons are always solid to have. Because uh, it usually is unblocked damage unless the enemy itself is uh, of a particular element. Magnet Essence of the Dead Bluebird. Yeah! Is it useful? I don't know. But we sure have one now. Who knows when it might come in handy. This will be easy. Just just the fire sword will kill you in one, yeah. Sneaking my way out like a bandit. I will probably not be able to avoid this uh, one back guard again. So, um, yeah. What a drag. Yeah. Oh! Only, only bad pieces. Fine. Let us continue. Uh, four. Three. get the bonuses for both I don't it has to be uh, an internally consistent so even though I got two ones and a straight uh, it has to be one two three for it to count understood understood important information all right let's head forth to Nunki Valley The enemies here may be being a little spicier. But there's still plenty for me to explore. Uh, okay. Nunki Valley. I remember there being like a, a water spider boss here that was pretty cool. You're 
dead. Oh, a mixture. Uh, let's go take you out first, please. Not that I needed to spend all three cards on this, but hey, overkill is funny. Although, not wasting my cards is an important uh, side effect. Oh, a three straight is a 28% damage boost. That is actually very important. Full block. No, we froze. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> you taunt so hard, they just shatter from the ice that they're frozen in and then immediately die. Excellent. Good. Goodbye. but we're getting a bit more in the realms of combo flexibility now. We're just waiting for uh, getting some of those cards that actually have... Um, some of those cards that actually... I saw it sort of for some time I'll need to get across. Okay. Getting cards that have two uh, numbers on them is going to be key to opening up our combo potential. You're dead. You're dead. It's a bit of a shame uh, that we don't have uh, the ability to do AoE yet. Or maybe at all. I, I actually am not sure what... Uh, oh god. Ow. I'm not sure uh, when we can obtain cards that are able to uh, hit multiple enemies at once, or even if you can. I'm sure! I'm sure! Because these fights would be real awkward if you didn't have the ability to... Uh... Three, four, five... To the winner go the spoils. A Magnus Flame Shield. Mm -hmm. Can I run this up this? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's fight you. Get what's in that treasure chest. Oh, just one enemy. Oh, that's too bad for you. Bye. The frozen shield. At this point, we might actually uh, upend our entire deck to uh, see. Oh, so there's two routes that we can go. Let's do the more difficult route first. Because this feels like it's uh, rewarding us for doing the challenging thing. Although it's not very challenging, it's just timing A button presses, but... Uh... Let's see what we got on the other side of this. Fully realizing that if I go back the other way. Alright. The pile of massive rocks is blocking the path. They're too heavy to move. Yep. Oh man, am I gonna have to go back and get the second set of explosives? Oh, it blows up both. Okay, excellent. I was about to say. 
Hey, thanks a lot. Looks like I can deliver the milk today after all. Seems that both of these paths were much of a muchness. Yeah, yeah, they both feel like they uh, lead to the same space. All right. Uh, let's see. You are more important to deal with. Whoa! Being caught off guard. Is that all you got? Uh, five, three. Whoa! Give me a break. Is that the best you can do? Say cheese. Still not to kill. Excellent. Mm hmm. Uh, two, then two. Ah, it's a range attack. Just throwing it. That was. Let's take another photograph that I can sell. No reason not to take wayward photographs of regular enemies. We can still sell them for money. Ooh, this is a new type of enemy. Don't be thinking you can beat me. Seems this opportunity to heal since there is nothing useful in my hand. Here you go. And it definitely seems like it is a fire enemy of some kind. Oh, self buffs. <laughs> Ah, uh, because it's a combo finisher. Mm. This may still kill, though. It didn't kill? Oh, no, it did. Okay. I was about to say, that would sort of be surprising if that wasn't a kill. And you. No time for messing around. Well, these enemies are faster than me too, which is uh, good to know. Oh. Let's see. Uh, six, five. I'll finish it with the combo anyway, because the damage increase is good. Mighty sword, roll forth like the wind. Hot style, blue storm. 71 enough to kill. Yes, okay. Ow. Is that all you got? Uh I want to see if I can get a photo taken, so let's go and heal myself instead. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Come on, photograph. This. Give me a break. Is that the best you can do? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 still going. Went for a job. I mean, how healthy of you? An evening run. There we go. There's the camera. Whoa! Just die already. Thank you. That was a pretty. 
yes, let's take... <laughs> it's called a Duma, of course. Oh, yes, you're still in the US for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. How was the rest of PAX, by the way? I hope you enjoyed your time. I'm standing under this waterfall as part of my training. But as part of my flab smasher diet plan. Training every day is the best way to build up your body. You should give it a try. Secret recipe one. No idea what that is. <laughs> Laugh from your stomach. That way you'll build thick, beautiful stomach muscles indirectly. Go for yourself a six pack. Pax was neat, but not my scene anymore. Too many video games, not enough narrative. Gotcha. Understood. This is the time to train every day. Uh, people who don't need to do a 9 to 5. Time to party. The CEO of Dread X. I heard of Dread X? Forget what that is. It's like an um, indie video game collection of horror games, right? <laughs> Immediately got bopped. Is that all you got? Mm -hmm. Ah, I started the Haunted PS1 collection. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. You are given. You have to remember that when your turn ends, you need to start preparing to block the next attack. Like while the animation is going, you need to be lining up the fact that that character now needs to defend. Not bad. Because your uh, cursor. Oh, I didn't get anything from that fight. Wow. Um, your cursor stays in the same place when you return. Uh, back to that character's turn, so I guess I need to already be lining up the next action. Now it's a company dead. publisher with a function. Mm -hmm. I, I get it, you know, if you're only out for a limited period of time, you might as well enjoy the scenery while it is available. Just an assorted set of three cards. Just mash this dude up. There we go, nice. Get out of here. Weird tiger lizards. The enemies in this area aren't challenging enough for me. I can't get motivated to fight. Well, my success is to be expected since I am privy to the secrets of combat. Are you interested in hearing the secrets? I'll tell you some of what I know. Sure, sure. I've become such a health goth uh, that when I'm bored, I'm like, might as well work out. <laughs> yeah. To make it this far on your journey, you'll probably see a prize you during one of your battles. Located on the upper right corner of each Magnus card, you'll see a number. This number is the card spirit number. The amount of damage you inflict on enemies is a combination of spirit numbers in your hand. Certain combinations of spirit numbers give you a bonus for the prize. There are two types of prizes, straight and pair. Mm-hmm. Well, I understand what straight is, but can pair be like multiple sets of two? When all the spirit numbers in your hand can be paired with another card in your hand, if there's even a single card in your hand that cannot be paired, you won't get a pair prize. All of the, the spirit numbers in your hand are not taken into consideration. Just make sure that all the cards can be paired with another. Sure. Pairs are easy to get them straight and give you small bonuses. When it becomes empty during your offensive turn, the depth shuffle will occur. In this case, your turn will be skipped. All Magnus cards, including powerful ones in your current hand, are... So, it's if you try to draw a card and you fail, your hand shuffles. So you've got to use the powerful cards before you have to do a dead draw. Gotcha.
Any magnets that you use during your defensive turn is regarded as having been used on yourself. If poisoned, use a magnus with the antidote attribute and your condition will be cured. Use defensive turn wisely, you'll be able to cure your conditions without using an offensive turn. However, remember that if you are using poison inflicting magnus during a defense, you'll become poisoned. Sometimes you may even find yourself confused as to whether your turn is offensive or defensive. There's the case, just listen carefully, let your ears guide you. Eventually your body will be able to distinguish and react on the sound. Ah, there's an audio cue for whether it's an offensive or defensive turn. Gotcha. I will try and listen out for that detail. It's been relatively intuitive so far, but then it's because the number of turns I get is pretty concrete. Uh, six. I forget whether I can... Uh, maybe I should have checked whether you can go up, on, up and down the straights. Just, just going up and down them straight. <laughs> Silly. Um, we are going to sort by spirit number. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh, that's a max number of cards I can carry. And carry a maximum of uh, six, one thousand cards. I understand. These are not especially well numbered. Huh. Five. Uh, so we need some some two. Uh, in terms of shielding, that's less important. Uh, but ten, ten, ten. Okay. Some general blocking options. But uh, we want now that we have some. Uh, do we have some offensive sevens? We have the uh, Aqua Dagger. That is an offensive seven. All right. We're still kind of cavorting around with arbitrary cards. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's oh, whoops. I see. this do secret recipe a one percent chance of sleep strange uh this is not good i've devoted my life to finding special combos and decided to write them in for future generations and form secret recipes it's my life's work so read carefully okay um that taunt i can put in one more card Eleven can be used while attacking, but nothing happens. Okay. Offensive combo linker. Gotcha. All right. We continue to move. You're dead. You're dead. Absolutely. That should probably be enough to kill you outright. Please continue to give me flame swords. We've made it out to the other side. To Furkad, the ancient capital. Furkad, 
the ancient capital. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The military airship. What a strange shape it is. What a very strange shape. I'll need your help to take out Giacomo. Back me up, okay? It's going to be a long time before we do that. Sure, whatever. Forget it. Ooh. Wait a minute. You're still acting a little strange. I'll tell you again, just in case. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. So my husband's sister-in-law posted a video of herself jumping out of a plane. Turned and jumped with her husband. My husband's paratrooper brother. I think she screamed all the way down. Yeah, yeah. Skydiving is definitely... An interesting thrill-seeker activity. I don't think it's something that my operator would do. <laughs> Remember, mm -hmm. the guardian spirit's power in battle depends on its relationship with the one it's guarding. I'm talking about trust here. If it's lost, in other words, if I no longer trust your advice, your powers won't be as effective in battle. I do mm. trust you and find your advice helpful, but this won't work unless our trust is mutual. Okay, when you have advice for me, think about how it might affect our bond. A healthy mm. bond will help us fight our enemies in the long run. You see what I'm saying? Say the right things, and That's the relationships that will be better. I... There's no reason to not do so then. Oh, children immediately under my feet, I see. No, I just bought you a mountain apple a little while ago. This child is so spoiled. All she ever thinks about is toys, candy, and mountain apples. Ah, oh, she's so selfish. Where did they go wrong raising her? Given some developments in the game. Well, yeah. Must be surprised by the clouds around here. So many great clouds. There's one other place. You can also find them in Diadem. Land of the clouds. Yes. It's an entire island that is, like, made of clouds. Oh, there's lots of other... Uh, little things like Mimai, Greythorn. Oh, the type of animal is called a Greythorn. I understand. I saw a gambler in here the other day who said he had gotten in just two or three days ago from a village. He was such a country bumpkin. I saw him get burned real bad and lose everything. Are children supposed to... I'm not supposed to think of toys and candy? I think it's supposed to be a bad parent. <laughs> Mountain apple wine. Spare rib a la pal. Spare rib is tenderized in hot water overnight. Sounds good. Yeah. The folks from the Empire having paid a visit. A smaller ship. And a huge ship of theirs. What interest have they found? Hmm. We have hints, but uh, let's not dwell on NPC chatter for too long. This is a long enough game already. Just a little while ago, I saw a huge ship flying towards the Lord's Mansion. Glittering in gold. Cider braised ribs does actually sound pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is just somebody's home. Love that in JRPGs. You just rock up to somebody's house. Just rummage around, see if you can find something cool. Emperor Gelderblame's ship. The Emperor with blame in his name? How interesting. Oh shit, they have the good garlic bread. Immediately stuffs it into a playing card. Rubbing a deck of cards against this bread, being like, but I need it later. <laughs> the interior is real nice, you know, it's a. Uh, yeah, being able to use a mixture of CG and like painterly quality art. To really establish the scenery, always very nice. Ah, I remember this area. Yes, 
Let's go to the church. Well, we can also save. That is fine. Sometimes it lets me use the D-pad to move through the menu, and then sometimes it's just like, nah. Control stick only. I want to level up. I want to level up. It heals you also, and your stats increase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the some of the uh, color schemes and stuff of particular areas is very, very nice. Might be an inspiration for a painting stream in the future. Oh, while I was out and about, want to hear about the five whales of this world? I s fucking suppose so. Um, <laughs> while I was out and about this week, I popped by uh, some hobby stores that I don't get to visit directly, and I got a bunch of new Necromunda bases. Uh, some other kind of like sculpted 25mm bases, some purple ink that I can use for pin lining. Stuff! I'm looking forward to uh, using it to augment the models I've already got. A, a personal goal at the moment is to make sure that all of my um, uh, current minis that I have purchased are based and primed, because then I can at the very least use them as game pieces even if I don't finish painting them until a later date, you know? So that's so I can get them going. Yeah, sounds interesting. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. The five islands floating in the sky are called whales. Each whale has its own nation. The five nations are our very own Sadal Sud Frontier, Diadem, Land of the Clouds, Anu and Nu, the Rainbow Nation, Mira, City of Illusion, of course. And of course, Alfard Empire. But some say there's another island, another nation. I'm playing with Gundam markers for the first time in two plus two, two plus decades. They're so much better than they used to be. Ah. I, I, I kind of want to learn how to do pin washing with a brush just because, you know, it's not guaranteed that the minis that I will be trying to do edges on will have the grooves that Gunpla are specifically designed to have. Um, so being able to do it with hand dexterity. I just noticed this little kid running. Do you see that little kid run around with the like weird blobby? You. You. Okay. On oh, some 30 minute mission models, not game minis. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have a little bit more, um, specific design. Oh, they, they make each shop look fully different. That's nice. Let's sell some cards. Ah, uh, it's blown out. That's fine, I can still sell it. Uh, let's buy. What do we have going? Chainmail. Ooh, wind. And a chunk of ice, which is used for attacks as well. Okay. These are actually all quite useful cards. We'll wait until we get our uh, magician back before we start buying these. I'll take that chunk of ice. The chunk of ice is going to melt into a puddle of water, but uh, for now... For now, this will be useful. But yeah, yeah, I, I feel that uh, I can justify getting new minis if the minis that I already have are in a position to be played with. Uh, and we're getting used to the idea of uh, finishing them to tabletop standard within a reasonable period of time. So I'm not too worried about like it being so impossible to finish my backlog of minis. Don't think of flying to Diadem with your own wings, you'll get tired. Hearts have grown weaker and our wings have followed. Anyway, if you want to get to Diadem, Land of the Clouds, you should take the liner. Sure. It's very organic-looking liner. Uh. Mm -hmm. I might have 
to ask for a bit of public opinion in terms of, oh, you're not letting me in. Hey, mister, you won't find anything of interest in here. There's no reason for you to keep hanging around. Why don't you just go away? Fine. I will return later. Have I been in here? It's just somebody else's house. I mean, we can take more flame. That might be useful. Or oh, it's nice to have some fire on deck. Who knows when it might come in handy. My cloud gull. Oh, a rideable bird, maybe. The Empire man. Gotta do something. Some of these areas are actually surprisingly uh, tricky to spot as areas you can investigate. Workbench. Not the tidiest of persons. Fine. Hey, you. Um. <clears throat> huh? The athletic physique, the stormy good looks. You, exactly, you look exactly how I used to look when I was younger. I can't believe we're not related. Say, what would you say to doing this old man a small favor? What's in it for me? We're not wasting our time on helping this guy out, right, Caster? Let's help him. Okay, okay, maybe I'll help you. Go ahead and tell me what you want. So you'll do it for me? What is it, though? I've been sensing that my number is almost up. If I'm going to die, I want to die surrounded by my children and grandchildren. A long form quest. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're not doing this. What shall I give you? Oh, I know what. Once a certain number of my family members have returned to my house, I'll reward your efforts with some Magnus. Some Magnus, I have it quite rare. I got a little too excited. Uh-huh. Cool. Strange favor. My husband's always been like that. Extra trouble for you, my ideas. Find the wish. Please have a heart and help him out. Sure. Is that is that everything? Uh, are you gonna tell us what your like family look like? Family tree. It's a whole thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A whole thing. Goodness. Wear a bracelet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've met a handful of them, actually. But there are a number of them already on this island. Because there's the kid with the bracelet. That was uh, running around in the pigeon costume. They count as one. Perhaps your siblings have useful information, sure. You're planning on talking to every NPC, right? No. Good God. Good God. It may be a, uh, you know, while I am off air, looking up that information and going and uh, doing some rounding up, but I think it would be a very slow endeavor to do on air. Run so fast. You're telling me to go home because my grandpa's sick? You're being rooshed along too. Who's rooshed? You're sitting on the rail. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, because we've definitely run into at least two other people that mentioned that they had uh, bracelets. Oh boy. All right, Rouge. No, 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 no. 
to speak to you first. Oh, the dad as well. Oh, a blue bird of happiness, you say? Let's show you a dead blue bird. Thank you so much. I've wanted one of these for a long time. Something in return. Go back to Grandpa's house. It's a good thing we did that one thing. Turned out that it was useful. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Now for you. Like that flat slob new barter. Mm-hmm. Giving you hints about who you can go and speak to, Sabin. making our way up to the top of the tower uh we're probably in a position where we can uh did you i'm now i'm now entirely paranoid about people who do or don't have bracelets gosh because they're just dressed like normal npcs there's nothing visually different about them aside from the little pigeon kid want? i guess Oh. One of our Empire's battleships is in birth at this mansion. Move along. Nothing to see. How British. Well, I didn't expect them to usher us through the front door. What should we do? Strain things up with a fight wouldn't be too wise, I suppose. Stop! Hmm. <laughs> Hello, little third. This is also voiced by a kid, but maybe less convincingly than the other one. Come back here. What was that all about? <sighs> that little devil. You saw him too, didn't you? <sighs> He's been sneaking into houses all over the city. That boy is up to no good, I tell you. I heard he even snuck into the Lord's mansion the other Oh, what a coincidence! Is there no end to his mischief? Hmm. I wonder. Maybe we should speak to him. Did he really? How should I know? There could be a hidden entrance somewhere or something. I'm surprised he didn't get caught by the Imperial soldier. That voice is mixed a little quiet for the rest of the game. If only I could get my hands on that kid and ask him. I have a feeling it is down the pathway that was blocked to us before. Mm hmm. Oh, we could be handheld through it. That's fine. I mean, there's a finite number of homes we can actually enter in this city, so. I mean, I met, I am no better than this kid. Oh, wow. Wow. What are you doing here, man? You're trespassing on my turf. Paolo the Third, Master of Shadows. What a voice actor. Perfect timing. I've been looking for you. I wonder how old they are now. Really? Do you want to be one of my henchmen? No, not exactly. I need to get into the Lord's Mansion. I mm. heard you snuck in the other day. Could you tell me how you did it? Mm. So you want to visit the Lord's Mansion, huh? I could show you how, but why on earth do you want to get in there? This kid with the theatrics and acrobatics doing the most. Doing the absolute most. Let's hold on. Why? Well, you see... 
Uh, to get vengeance for my grandfather and brother. How cool. So you want vengeance, huh? What does vengeance mean anyway? Oh, uh, well. Basically, I'm chasing a bad guy. Hmm. Okay, no problem. I'll show you how I did it. You know, those kind of stories make me a little misty-eyed. But it's gonna cost you. No offense, but I'm in a hurry. So, you have to tell me now. Hold your horses. Business is business. This entire conversation. Secrets can only be told in return for loot. That's the bottom line. You bring me sure. the loot, I'll tell you the secret. Sure, what's the loot? loot? That's right. A rainbow spider's web. Ah, bring and then I go and fight the spider in the uh, previous area. Huh? Yeah. I knew that was the boss that I had to go fight. You call that loot? Yep, I think it's a water it's element enemy too, so uh only one who has four of them. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay. Loot, huh? If you insist. Oh All right. man, this is annoying. <laughs> Any idea where I complains find a... so much. That's what I like to hear. Okay, let me think. They're pretty rare, but sometimes I can find one in the bushes or on a riverbank. Only try looking around the river outside the city. Mm -hmm. You'll find one if you're lucky. If I'm lucky, huh? I guess I don't have a choice. Let's get this over. I'll Fortunately, it's not a randomized encounter. Well, it is a very specific place that you go look. As I recall, um, it's also one of the first bosses with like. Alternate music is like the event battle theme. Uh, which I remember being pretty darn cool. Uh, let me go and upgrade my deck. So I can adjust for... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gotten a bunch of fire ones. Uh, we want... Switch that out. All right, let's go hunt some spiders. And we can skip through so we don't need to walk through the entire area this time now. Don't be thinking you can beat me. Uh, three. I think the sheer amount of melee damage will probably kill, even if it resists fire. Yeah. It's immune to fire, I see. Time to party. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we're taking a picture. Gotcha! Not enough to kill, but that's fine. Are they spending both of their turns doing this, or am I immediately being attacked? Uh... Boo. Annoying. enough to kill. Yeah, okay, excellent. Is that all you got? I should get in some damage out. And the music. I. 
I mean, there's like some slight modulations as part of the song. I don't know if I'm getting, um... Uh... Are there, if, there, if there's additional audio weirdness, do let me know. I don't immediately hear it on my end. Because, you know, sometimes it could be the nature of the tech involved. Get rid of it. Goodbye. That was uh yeah, there it is. Your voice is normal, but I definitely get some weirdness in the game keyboard here. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. But it seems to be isolated to the battle music. How strange. Let me close this just in case. Okay. Let me know. Because I did have audio options open. Uh, uh, like emulator audio options open. So even though I wasn't doing anything to it. It might actually be you know, messing with it a little bit. So I've closed that now. And see if that makes things any better. Uh, we are going to just quickly top off our health. Go. All right, let's go fight a mini boss. Oh, come on. Six, seven. I'm going to be playing relatively conservatively so we can get our combos going. Mostly watered. Oh gosh. Uh, three, four, three. Does it still count as a straight if they connect with each other like this? And we set them on fire, which was good. Yeah, we don't get the prize by going up and down the scale. It has to go one way. They hit for a lot of damage. through the deck and the photograph. Excellent. Are we still getting the pitch bends for this as well? go for damage. So it's just that one song that's maybe getting some uh, weirdness. Nope. Man, exploiting elemental weaknesses is actually very useful. I want to take a nap. Dead. <laughs> very straightforward. 25% increase, plus the elemental weakness, plus the taunt. Done. I saw that I activated a new combo, but I was like, ah, oh, no, I need to do the number straight. It's important. <sighs> that was too close. You were fine. Don't be a baby. I obtained a valuable item. All right, let's go return that, and then we will uh, prepare to wrap up the stream for today, I think. Easy, easy win. What a drag. Throw a knife for them.
Lingering time. I am time. Hear my voice. Bring time. Ah, sick. Wow, what a combo. That does a lot of damage, wow. <laughs> it does time damage. I don't, I, I genuinely, genuinely do not remember time being an element in this game. What? <laughs> when, when was that something that this game had? Maybe it's kind of like a... Um, Ultima or Megiddo in that it's an element that is uh, not resisted by anything. So you can always guarantee that time damage will hit hard. Sneak around you. Oh, juke both. There we go. Lingering time. Very cool. All right, uh, we need to go pop in here. Ah! Oh! oh, no, wrong one. Or oh, the kid is gone and we need to go to the secret base. We should also probably see. You know. Do I do that last? Oh, I'm already here. I'm already here. Visit that church. Get that EXP. Nice, 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 nice. I forget whether uh, EXP accumulated is something that all that sits for like other party members that aren't in your party and things like that. I forget how the EXP system works in that regard. Hey. Hello, Lotus friend, yes. Mm hmm. Everybody chat shit about you, Kalas. That's how this goes. at the bottom that leads to the mansion it ain't mm. very deep and the water is pretty much gone so it's no big deal you might get a little wet once you're inside the mansion though i see how did you find this passage i'm impressed mm -hmm. well you know being the master of shadows and all it was nothing this kid's voice acting is uh, delightful. Hey, you said you're in a hurry, right? If you're not ready yet, do what you need to do. I'll be waiting here. Oh, so this All is right. a brief point of no return, I see. Which does actually make this an excellent time to uh, go round out our stuff, save, and we will return to this uh, next time. Please, kid. That child actor sounds like he was told to not use words like ain't by his parents. <laughs> Child actor. <laughs> you know, it's, it's uh, they're not going to hire you if you don't speak correctly. One quiet company. Jeffrey. Yes. Yes. Kid's name's absolutely Jeffrey. Uh, let's go sell. I think I have. Oh, it turned into a mineral water. Sure, sure, sure. Ah, it's not finished uh, developing. Gotcha. Oh, can you only 
No, no, no. We sold more than one um, photo of an animal. The dual sword. Ooh. Nothing to buy that I desperately need right now. I'm taking those. Alright. Because I don't think I actually have put much in the way of healing items in my deck, so I should probably go and fiddle with that slightly. And then we'll, we'll call it a run. Uh, let's clear this. can sort by number, so we're getting all our one cards first. We want our ice sword. It's probably the only things in ones that we want because it's the end of a chain. Um, I am actually pretty fine to have most of our shields be on twos. Other attacks here aren't especially exciting. Attack 8. It's just as these, but they can't defend. Whatever. Uh, let's one, two, three. We have plenty of threes. Our longsword we definitely want, as well as our combo ender, and we want our taunt as well. Remember, she's still 45. Bananas heal 90. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We want lots of threes and fours. And extra... Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably fine. Alright, our fives. A banana, chain mail, and ice shield. We have a decent number of things on twos and on fives in terms of defending. Cool. Probably the only interesting sixes we've got, but that is okay. We have to be a bit picky because we're uh, running out of space. We have a handful of things on eight, actually. Uh, okay. Actually, yeah, we can remove all of our twos. We don't need our twos that badly. Excellent. All right. Cool. I'm gonna actually. There's a system auto sort and auto sort. And then let's look at our gathering. Special combos. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We we did a special combo. I don't know where that is in the list. Or do we just not know any? It's an incidental one. Okay. Yeah, we can look at our card list. 61 of 1,022 cards. It's going to take us a while. <laughs> time-based spirit spell enabled by a guardian spirit's power. Creates a pentagram around the enemy and suspends time within, tearing its soul apart when time begins flowing again. Oh, brutal. All right, killer. Save our progress. Fantastic. That's all that's saying. Back over here. Go. Ugh. Already. Already the nostalgia. Already the nostalgia is unreal. Goodness me. I am. I'm very glad to get the chance to go and revisit this game again. It's a good times, it's good times. Um, right, let us prepare for other bits and pieces. Oh, uh, what's going on tomorrow? Uh, we are continuing 
with our Pokemon Black White uh, Soul Link Nuzlocke that I've been doing with uh, Rafi Dale. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. An important thing that we need to go and uh, send somebody over to. I know who we're, who we're raiding next. It's very good. Um, but yes, we'll be, we'll be returning with that tomorrow. Um, we're doing quite well, actually. Uh, a little suspiciously well, so we'll see how well we we'll manage to kind of proceed in the future. Um, I will try and do, because uh, this weekend is when the new set of uh, Magic the Gathering, Streets of New Capenna, is generally made available to the populace. Uh, and I really enjoyed doing uh, the um, uh, Neon Kamigawa run uh, previously, when, we, when that set came out and opening packs on stream. So I would love to do the same n uh, for this run. Uh, but, you know, it might be, uh, uh, we'll see whether I can obtain the cards because we, we, we won't be doing it sponsored. So it'll be what we manage to obtain. Um, but with that out of the way, uh, let's go and pass over to our friend, fellow VTuber Take Two Action, who is currently apparently playing Soul Sacrifice which was my favorite Monster Hunter like on PS Vita is genuinely an astounding game. It's probably one of my favorite games. So I am very excited that she's playing it. So let's go and pass y'all over. Please do give uh, her a warm welcome. Say hello, go follow. Uh, I have been your androgynous AI game show host from the future caster. This has been the Neon Caster Twitch channel and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.